welcome along to another Midlife Crisis Guys video. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's been absolutely ages. I have finally, finally taken the plunge. I have wild camped using two man tents. I started off with the Coleman Bedrock. I had to think about it then. Yeah, the Coleman Bedrock, um, which was this one. Um, green two-man tent and it was flipping brilliant after the first thing I used on that first one at Staffordshire if you ever go right back to the first ever wild camp in Staffordshire you'll see this little um, thing that I bought for 20 quid off Amazon dreadful single skin didn't have a clue what I was doing but hey so got the bedrock from Coleman fabulous tent had some great great adventures in it however the angle it went down had no room for my feet so quite often my feet at night would be touching the bottom pushing it up onto the fly and obviously consequently a uh, bit wet bit damp but still a good tent really enjoyed myself with that but I love the design uh, so I did some research and found the tent that has been my go-to all the time for most of my adventures that hopefully you will have seen on some of my videos and that is the Common two man, and as you will see behind me, lots of great adventures with this. But, 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 it kind of does make sense the fact that my rucksack, try, much that I try my hardest. I mean, initially, I think I was going off with about 20 kilos, probably more than that, 22 kilos. Managed it get, to get down to 15 ish, managed to get closer to 12 recently. But if you are going to be hiking a long way, and don't I know it, I have struggled with my knees. I need to be getting the weight down. So consequently, kind of scratching my head or my neck, and I thought I really should start considering these one-man tents. There's a lot of good ones around, and uh, I have to give the credit to a guy called Matt, this strange chap that I know. He's a Yorkshire bloke, so from Yorkshire, you know, that you have to forgive him for that. No disrespect to Yorkshire at all. He's a, he's a good lad. But he took the plunge and bought a tent and I went over to his place, had a look. He had it set up in his garden and I thought, I like that. And I think it was a kilo less. It basically works out roughly a kilo. I'll put all the dimensions and everything up. L literally over a kilo lighter than my Coleman. And it just makes sense. So I took the plunge. the Alpkit Soloist one-man tank. Let's go and put it up.
so here I am, I'm in. Didn't take long to put up, pretty straightforward. Bit of a disadvantage here because my garden is on a slope, so I'm kind of sloping away. So but what I think I'm gonna do is move on to the GoPro footage now because that's gonna give us a better scale of the inside of the tent. GoPro footage, welcome inside my new tent. So like I said, I'm on a bit of a slope, but I can sit upright, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna be eating my meals in the evening in the Cobra. I was always lying down and then wondering why I'm getting indigestion. So this in itself, it could be pouring with rain, I can be tucked up inside, tucking away to my nosh without the worry of getting indigestion and eating lying down, which is never a good thing. <laughs> so that's a plus point straight away, the fact that I'm sat upright. Space-wise, again, I'm on a hill, so I am five foot two. But I'm lying out completely flat, which is brilliant. But the test is going to be whether my airbed gets in here. Let's try that. So once again, you've seen me use this before. Alp kit, and it's the cloud base. It's quite long. Well, I'm glad to say that the airbed fits beautifully. Excellent. Now then, the real test it's all well and good. I'm asleep here, my airbed fits fine. But where does my rucksack go? So this is it, this is the big test. So my, rack, my rucksack obviously will sit in here, but I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's tight, but it does still leave me plenty of room for my legs, which is good. So obviously my rucksack will be able to come into the tent and I've still got plenty of room down here for my pillow, my phone, all the normal bits at night time. And if it's just my legs down here to the one side of the rucksack, that's great. And obviously I have got the small porch. I'll do the porch now for the muddy boots. There is the view, all closed up. Got the hook up here. Pretty good. 